Hello everyone, Jeff here, welcome to the 17th episode of a quick overview. In this episode, I'll be talking about Cinder. The first time players were introduced to Cinder was actually in Skylanders. Instead, she got a start in the Legend of Spyro games. This was a game series that was a reboot to the Spyro series as a whole and came before Skylanders. In the first Legend of Spyro game, Cinder was the main antagonist who was stolen when she was still an egg by Malifor's forces, being brought up in the way of evil and was corrupted into a monstrous beast to try to get Malifor out of his imprisonment. But at the end of the first game, Spyro defeated Cinder and she turned good and back to her non-corrupted self and served as a partner to Spyro throughout the rest of the games. A couple of years then went by after the final instalment of the Legend of Spyro series and Skylanders was released including a slightly redesigned Cinder who was a part of the undead element of Skylanders Spyro's adventure and looked a bit like a mix between a corrupted form and normal form from the Legend of Spyro games. In SSA she also received two chase variants. This one is the metallic purple chase variant which you could get from going to some form of trade show. And the other chase variant was the clear Cinder which was placed in random assortment of SSA boxes what was shipped out to shops. Cinder then went on to get a series 2 figure in Giant side, a new WoW power ability called Lightning Rain. This figure was very common as it was in every starter pack including the Skylanders Battlegrounds one. Cinder also got a chase variant for Giants as well, the glow in the dark Cinder which was placed in starter packs for the game. Then again in Swap Force, Cinder got another repost, this time it being series 3 Phantom Cinder with a new WoW power Skull Plosion. For Trap Team and Superchargers, Cinder was nowhere to be seen until Imaginators where she became an NPC for some of the levels and Phantom Cinder was put in a champion combo pack. More info on them if you click the icon at the top right. However, Cinder did appear in Skylanders Academy, which I haven't watched, but apparently in Skylanders Academy canon, she hails from an evil line of dragons with Malifor being her father, but she wants to be good. In sharp contrast to her Skylanders Universe counterpart and her Legend of Spyro counterpart, She's very energetic and happy. Cinder also got some other recognition outside the main base console games as well. First she got a new skeleton skin for Halloween 2013 in Skylanders Lost Islands. And she also got her awakened form in Skylanders Ring of Heroes, which is shutting down this month. Nowadays, if you're looking to buy Cinder, she's very cheap and an alright Skylander. All the variants, minus the clear Cinder and metallic purple ones, go for around £1 or higher, so I advise adding her to your collection. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Quick Overview. That's all for now. See ya.